all together. Hello, hello. Yes, it's me by myself again to continue this Marvel journey. And we are now on Iron Man 3. Let's get started. A famous man once said, we create our own demons. Who said that? What does that even mean? Doesn't matter. I said it because he said it. So now he was famous and basically getting said by two well-known guys. Let's track this from the beginning. Yo, listen. Music on point. 1999. What was going on in 1999? The old days. I never thought they'd come back to bite me. Why would they? Oh, wow. Hey, Tony. Aldrich Killian. <clears throat> it's a privately funded think tank called Advanced Idea Mechanics. Uh, she'll take both. One to throw um, away and one to not call. You're a dick. I'm titillated by the notion of working with you. Yeah, yes, she's clowns. So I'll see you up on the roof in five minutes. I'm just gonna try to get my beak wet real quick. You know okay. what I'm talking about? What did he say? I'm gonna get my beak wet? If I'm right, we can access the area of the brain that governs repair. Wow. I don't like this version of Iron Man. I know it's the before him, but like, eh. Is that Kate? Can you not touch my plan? It's not. She doesn't like it. Dude, you're a dick. This is what I'm talking about the glitch. Have you checked the Telmarie's algorithm? There's a wall around what was that? It's a glitch in my work. It's she was just talking about a glitch just happened. Not Y2K. Hey! Yeah. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. The bodyguard's annoying to me. And that's a prick move on Iron Man's letting this guy stay up there waiting for him on New Year's. He could have been somewhere else. Why am I telling you this? Because you feel because guilty. I had just created demons. <laughs> These days I'm a changed man. 46. I'm different now. I'm, well, 47. you know who I am. Glad you're different. Mark 42, autonomous prehensile propulsion suit test. Initialize sequence. Jarvis, drop my needle. <laughs> what? I didn't even realize this is like Santa music, Christmas music, whatever. Come on. I'm the best. No. Oh. As always, uh, a great pleasure watching you work. <laughs> Seventy-two hours is a long time between siestas. Didn't think it could get any worse. Then I had to go and turn on the TV. That's when he happened. Some people call me a terrorist. I consider myself a teacher. Ooh. Let's recap some of the frightening developments. American airwaves were hijacked. The nature remains on high alert. The to find the Mandarin act so far proved unsuccessful. Oh no. It's a newly minted resource. I know him. It's Colonel James Rhodes. The American people Yo, know him. I forgot what I was watching for a second. <laughs> and they also renamed him Iron Patriot. You know, just in case. Iron Patriot. Badge, guys. Put a memo in the toilet. Come on. Tony has got them in his basement. They're wearing party hats. This is an asset that we can put to use. Uh huh. So you're suggesting that I replace the entire janitorial staff with robots? <laughs> God, you you look great. I I I can't. What on earth have you been doing? Nothing fancy. Five years in the hands of physical this? therapist. And please call me Aldrich. Yo. You were supposed to be issued a security badge. Be happy is okay. Yes. Where is it? Okay. Down down. I'm gonna linger Thank right you. here. Okay. Is this the guy from 1999? The one that got left on the roof? It's gotta be. After years dodging the president's ban on immoral biotech research, my think tank now has a little something in the pipeline. It's an idea. This, you're inside my head. It's a, it's a live feed. Come on up, I'll prove it to you. Yeah, just step on the glass. The glass table, like, you know, no big deal. Pinch my arm. I can take it. Pinch me. <gasps> what is that? Primary somatosensory cortex. The brain's pain center. That's really cool. Hello? Is this forehead of security? What? Yeah, look, I got a real job. What do you want? I'm working. I got something going on here. What? Harassing yeah. interns? Mm. 
What's going on? Fill me in. All right, so she's meeting up with the scientist, rich guy, handsome, Aldrich Killian. We actually met the guy back, where were we in 99, the science conference? Uh, Dang, it is him. Clean, he, he like came a long way. First was fine, they were talking business, and now it's like getting weird. He's showing her his big brain. <laughs> Imagine if you could hack into the hard drive of any living organism and recode its DNA. You know, I invited Tony to join AIM 13 years ago. He turned me down. But something tells me now there's a new genius on the throne who doesn't have to answer to Tony anymore and who has slightly less of an ego. It's going to be a no, Aldrich. Well, I can't say that I'm not disappointed. Then, as my father used to say, failure is the fog through which we glimpse triumph. I'm sure I'll see you again, Pepper. Mmm. Can you regulate? Yes, I can regulate. Sure about that. Yes. These are batches. Don't say that never did nothing for you. Thank you. I'm sorry, buddy. Oh. Buddy, got by yourself. Oh day no! Day. Your favorite chick maybe? Yeah, a little movie called The Party's Over, starring you and your junky girlfriend. Here's the ticket. No kidding. That doesn't belong to me. What? Oh no! What just what? What just happened? Come on, Happy. You gotta report this. Get up. <gasps> I'm missing some toes. What? Anything else you can Hey, this is dark. When is somebody gonna kill this guy? Just saying. Here's a little holiday greeting I've been wanting to send to the Mandarin. I just didn't know how to phrase it until now. My name is Tony Stark, and I'm not afraid of you. I know you're, I know you're a coward, so I've decided that you just died, pal. I'm going to come get the body. There's no politics here. It's just good old-fashioned revenge. No, not about revenge. Here's my home address. 10-8-80 Malibu Point. Right there's fine. You're not the Mandarin. Are you? Are you? I don't remember. I'm sorry. I was happy in the hospital. I didn't know we were expecting guests. We weren't. It's been old. No. Girlfriend! I, she's not really. No, not really. I, it, it was just one night. No. Damn. You know, yeah. you saved yourself a world of pain. What? I'm Trust sure. me. <laughs> we're going out of town. Okay, we've been through this. Nope. Yep. The man and says no. Immediately indefinitely Honey. great idea you don't like it we are leaving the house that's not even up for discussion can we um what do we need to worry about that oh Yo, you gotta really learn how to think before you speak. Yeah, watch your cocky ways, bro. Oh my God, this is so stressful. Oh, shit. That's one. That's horrible. Man, his home's always getting messed up. That's 
Oh my gosh! That's cool. Wow. That was a lot to take in right there. Like, wow. That's the emergency alert triggered by the power dropping below 5%. Ah. Oh. Are we upstate? We are five miles outside of Rose Hill, Tennessee. Damn! Why? What are we doing here? This is thousands of miles away. I gotta get Pepper. I gotta... I prepared mm -hmm. a flight plan. This was the location. Who asked you? Pepper, it's me. Got a lot of apologies to make and not a lot of time, so... First off, I'm so sorry I put you in harm's way. That was selfish and stupid and it won't happen again. Also, I can't come home yet. I need to find this guy. You gotta stay safe. That's all I know. I just stole a poncho from a wooden Indian. <laughs> you just break into somebody's home. Wait. Ooh. Don't move. <laughs> oh, so cute. What's that thing on your chest? It's a uh, electromagnet. You should know. We've got a box from right here. What does it power? That's is that Iron Man? Technically I am. Technically, you're dead. That was point. What happened to him? Life. I built them. I take care of him. <laughs> Life. So, uh, who's home? Well, my mom already left for the diner, and Dad went to 7-Eleven to get scratchers. I, I guess he won, because that was six years ago. Damn. Which happens, Dad's leave. No need to be a pussy about it. Here's what I know. Oh, my God. <laughs> Don't say that to a kid. Map of town, a big spring, and a tuna fish sandwich. What's in it for me? Salvation. What's his name? The kid that bullies you at school. What's his name? How do you know that? I got just the thing. This is a pinata for a cricket. I'm kidding, it's a very powerful weapon. <laughs> Press the button on top. It discourages bullying. Non lethal, just to cover one's ass. Deal? <laughs> Deal. Deal? What's your name? Harley. And you're. The mechanic. <laughs> what was so important that you had to speak to Tony? I think that my boss is working for the Mandarin. Your boss works for the Mandarin, you think? But Tony says your boss of yours, does he have a name? Yeah, Aldrich Killian. Well, we took the house down, sir, but there's no sign of a body. Mm -mm. The master's about to record, and he's a little... Well, you know how he gets. Keep your appointment tonight. Call me when it's done. What's the official story here? I guess this guy named Chad Davis won a bunch of medals in the army. And one day folks said he went crazy and made, you know, a bomb. Then he blew himself up right here. Mrs. Davis? Mind if I join you? Free country. Sure is. Where'd you like to start? I just want to say I'm sorry about your loss. I want to know what you think happened. Look, I brought your damn file. Take it. Go. Whatever was in here, he wanted no part of it. Clearly, you're waiting for someone else. Hmm? Supposed to meet someone here? Yeah. Oh! 
jackpot. You're not the person that called me after all, are you? No, we're not good. I need a little more information. All right, you know what? I was hoping to do this the smart way, but uh, Conway's always good. Deputy, get this woman. Oi! No! I liked him. He was brave. Hey, hot wings. You want a party? Come on, you and me. Let's go. Oh, shit! No! I'm so stressed out. <laughs> ah! Run, this girl's crazy. Smart, but it probably doesn't face her. Oh my gosh! You walk right into this one. I've dated hotter chicks than you. <laughs> Chicken, a cheesy one-liner. Sweetheart, that could be the name of my autobiography. It could. I don't disagree with you. Oh my. My heart. Dude, I'm, it's like pounding so fast, hard right now. Oh, I'm so over the cold and all this water. Mm -mm. Nope. Over it. Oh no. I want my goddamn file. Remember what I told you about bullies? Whoa! Run! That's the thing about smart guys. They always cover our ass. All right, now you gotta get your foot out of there and. You're welcome. For what? Did I miss something? <laughs> Yeah, A, save you first. Well, mate, the kid has a disguise. Play it cool, otherwise you come off grandiose. <laughs> Unlike you? Admit it. You need me. We're connected. <laughs> Move out of the way, I'm going to run you over. Bye, kid. I'm sorry, kid. You did good. So now you're just going to leave me here, like my dad? Oof. Oh my gosh! Brutal. Wait, you're guilt tripping me, aren't you? Yes. I'm cold. I can tell. You know how I can tell? Because we're connected. <laughs> what? You're a heartless savage. <laughs> oh no. Mm-mm. Mr. President. Only two lessons remain. I intend to finish this before Christmas morning. I'm gonna shoot him in the head. Ah. Live on your television in 30 seconds. Ah. The number for this telephone is in your cell phone. Exciting, isn't it? America. If your president calls me in the next half minute, Tom lives. Go. Oh my gosh. <gasps> he was that was a power move, dude. You just, I'll see you soon. Just show the world how weak we are. I say weak because I'm in it. That ain't gonna cut it. I don't know who. 
Mom, I need to call you back. Something magical. <laughs> wow. Can I just date her? Yeah. I am your biggest fan. <laughs> I don't know if you can tell, but I have like patterned my whole look after you. Oh my god. Trying to grab a little something from some hard crypt data files. I don't have enough juice. I need you to jump on the roof. Right? Recalibrate the ISDNs. <sighs> Can you please state your name for the camera? Ellen Brand. Okay, so the injections are administered periodically. That's how he changed! Today is your glory. Let's begin. Whoa. Tell me why you were at Stark's mansion last night? I'm trying to fix this thing. I didn't know you and the master were going to blow the place up. Oh, I see. So you were trying to save Stark. Oh my god, she's a bad guy. Look, if we want to launch product next year, I need Stark. He just lacked a decent incentive now. He has one. Oh, come on! Ah! Oh. Yes, you're free. Uh, if you weren't before. <laughs> Happy to help. Oh my no gosh. It's my pleasure. Oh! Um, it does say Miami, Florida. Okay, first things first. I need the armor. Where are we at with it? Uh, it's not charging. Are, are you having another attack? <laughs> I didn't even mention New York. Right, I thought you just said it by name. <laughs> You're a mechanic, right? Right. Why don't you just build something? Okay. <laughs> yeah, see, you don't need your suit. You're naturally a badass. Based on a Japanese recipe. Hey! Don't move. I'm not moving. You want something? Take it. He's an actor. What are you, decoy? You're a double, right? Well, then I can't study. No, absolutely not. Don't hurt the face. I'm an actor. They gave me plastic surgery. They gave me things. But did you really kill that guy? He created you. He created me. Custom made terror threat. Yes. Yes. You're still going down, pal. <gasps> Damn it. Ah. Oh. Ah. Oh, she got it. This premise is practically stable. I'm telling you, it isn't. I'm on the street. People are going bang. They're painting the walls. My the man. plant. Help me fix it. That's what she was practicing on. You used to have ideals. Wanted to help people. Now look at you. I get to wake up every morning with someone who still has their soul. Uh-oh. I'm here to thank you. You gave me the greatest gift that anybody's ever given me. Desperation. I was kind of slow with the plant thing and how it, like, grows back, but I got there. <laughs> well, I wanted to repay you the self-same gift that you so graciously imparted to me. Desperation. Uh... We haven't even talked salary yet. What kind of perk package are you picking up? Let him go. If I die, Killian. We're not doing this, okay? What happens to you? What happens if you go too hard? <gasps> the good news is High-level position has just been vacated. I did not see that coming. You are a maniac. No, I'm a visionary. But I do own a maniac. And he takes the stage tonight. Mm. Hello, Colonel. Step aside. We'll get you out of there. Don't worry. Can you, uh, stop that? Break it, you bought it. No. I'm gonna kill you first. What are you going to do to me? You'll see. You're zip tied to a bed. Yes. <laughs> it's going to take a while. Don't open. Don't open. Just... All right, let's go. <sighs> three, four. Shut up. Five, four, three. <laughs> Told you. Oh. Where's the rest? Oh no! I 
think this is like the hardest like little fight he's had in a while. Honestly, I hate working here. They are so weird. <laughs> Uh, I never thought people have been hurt. They lied to me. This is the Mandarin? No, no, it's, it's, it's embarrassing. <laughs> and this next bit may include the vice president as well. Is that, is that important? Somewhat. Yeah, a little bit. <laughs> Hello? Oh no, the vice president's in on it. Welcome back to Lana. Because Living. somebody put the number in his phone. I think we're good here. Sir, this is Colonel Rose. They're using the Iron Patriot as a Trojan horse. Oh, maybe not. President. Maybe I'm wrong. We have to immediately alert that plane. And they just hack things. Okay, I'm more okay never mind. Security. He's not in on it. BP. They can have F-22s in the air in 30 seconds. Everything okay, sir? Couldn't be better. He's in on it. Okay, so I was right. He's the one that put the number in the president's phone. Ah, <gasps> oh, that's why. We gotta make a decision. We can either save the president or Pepper. The cranes have finally arrived and the cellar doors are being cleared as we speak. Hmm. Everything all right, Colonel? Oh my God. Oh no. It's an honor, Mr. President. You're gonna do it. Do it. Oh, cool you sir. Image coming through now, sir. Was that Rose? The president. Now. He's not here. Speaking of which, go big. They can all swim. Good team effort all around. Go us. Go <laughs> us. Oh, come on. That came out of nowhere. Wow. Give me some good news. Oh, whoa. I think made it. Oh, thank God. Yeah, but I missed the present. I forgot he can do that. <laughs> I totally forgot he can do that. Ah! This just takes things to a whole nother level. You think he's going to help you? He won't. Having you here is not to motivate Tony Stark. It's, um, it's actually more embarrassing than that. You're here as my... Um, Muse? Mm. Good evening, sir. Welcome aboard, Mr. President. We need backup. Yeah, lunch. You know what? Is, is that? Yep. Are those? Yeah. No way. He can control all of them? What are you waiting for? It's Christmas. Take him to church. Woo! That's cool. This is how you've been managing your downtime, huh? Everybody needs a hobby. Woo! Give me a suit, okay? They're only coded to me. What does that mean? I got you covered. <laughs> oh, because he was going crazy. He was creating this stuff nonstop. That's why he wasn't sleeping. Hey, okay. Can I give you a lift? Very funny. <laughs> Brace yourself. You look damn good, Mr. President. But I'm going to need that suit back. Swap suits. I mean, I can't reach any further and you can't stay there, right? You got to let go. No way. No. That did not just happen. That did not just happen. Shame. I would have caught her. Mark 42 inbound. I'll be damned. The prodigal son returns. <laughs> really didn't deserve it, Tony. It's a 
pity. I was so close to having her perfect. You're right. I don't deserve her. Here's where you're wrong. She was already perfect. Jarvis, do me a favor and blow Mark 42. No! Wow. Come on, Tony, get out of there. Oh. It's always me, Tony. Right from the start. I am the Mandarin. Oh. I got nothing. <laughs> I guess it's a good thing she got injected with that stuff. Jarvis, subject of my 12 o'clock is not a target. Disengage. Oh, what are you mad at me? Damn! Pepper! Who are you? Who's the hot mess now? Still debatable. Probably tipping your way a little bit. Why don't you dress like this at home? <laughs> All your distractions? Uh, I'm gonna shave them down a little bit. You know what to do. The clean slate protocol, sir? Screwed, it's Christmas. Yes. Yeah. You start with something pure, then come the mistakes. The compromise. <sighs> we create our own demons. As promised, I got Pepper sorted out, took some tinkering, but then I thought to myself, why stop there? Of course, there are people who say progress is dangerous, but I'll bet none of those idiots ever had to live with a chest full of shrapnel. And now, neither will I. Oh. Dang. experiences with someone it just cuts the weight of it in half you know it's like a snake swallowing its own tail everything comes full circle and, and the fact so you with me it was yeah where we were at um you actively napping i i was i <laughs> i'm not a therapist it's not my training I, so? I don't have the what the time temperament <laughs> you know what now that i think about it oh god my original wound 1983 all right i'm yes. 14 years old i still have a nanny that's weird. <laughs> I'm obsessed with that combo. Iron Man 3. What can I say other than wow, wow, wow. I think the all Iron Mans just keep getting better and better. This, I almost want to say this was my favorite Iron Man. Oh, so hard. So hard. He's still like my number one. I love that they brought the Hulk because as you know, I'm a huge fan of the Hulk after the Avengers. I am so glad they didn't like get rid of Pepper because I was I was seriously worried there for a second. And I didn't think that they finished injecting all that stuff in her. So I thought, you know, I'm like that didn't work. Whew. That scared me. If they did do that, I would have been devastated because I absolutely love and adore Mrs. Potts or Miss Potts. She's not a Mrs. Uh, but Pepper Potts, like you are just bomb. I thought the storyline was very powerful. I think it's like, a, it's honestly, it's one of my favorite villain storylines so far. I loved it. I love how Killian came from being an, like that guy that, you know, people don't really 
pay attention to. And I love how they went back in time to show Tony as the little ding dong butthole he is and how he treated people, which kind of sucks because Killian is actually very brilliant. He was very brilliant and he executed this plan so well that it's like, it's scary how well he did. I think out of all the villains we've seen so far, he is one of the top villains that would just, his storyline just destroyed it. Like it did, <sighs> well done, well done, sir. Well done, writers. I really like that storyline. And I just want to address this real quick because I know like uh, I have seen in some of the comments, people are like, oh, have you not seen these? I have you have not seen these. Oh, she's probably saying, no, I haven't seen Diddly Squat. Okay, I grew up overseas, keep that in mind, but I also didn't grow up with television. So I didn't come from like a very wealthy um, background, like home and all that stuff. You know, I didn't grow up with cable. I didn't have, you know, the TV we did watch was VHS tapes or DVDs. And it was just like your bare minimal. Other than that, I was, I'm from a time where you played outside y'all. So just remember that okay no i haven't seen any of these plus i wasn't into action films and nor did i really care about the superheroes so i know of them but i've also been told like sometimes the names i call them and whatever they're always wrong and now hopefully through this journey that we're on together that will get start to get a little bit more cleared up for me and my brain and to where i can comprehend and understand them which slowly but surely i am which is great because even I couldn't even tell the difference between Marvel and DC. So right now I'm learning and I'm understanding the difference. So bear with me. But with that being said, I'm actually, I think maybe cause like I'm like older now and stuff because before, I, like I said, I didn't really care for action films. Most of the films I watch are all here <laughs> with you guys. Um, I'm actually like, I'm enjoying them. I'm really enjoying them a lot. And I'm loving the storylines. I'm loving the changes through Tony. I love how, you know, they threw it back and we went way, way back before he even was Iron Man, before we saw that little butthead version of him, it was even more. I felt like he was like worse than the, the first one. He's so on all the time and just like pew, 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 with his mouth. And a part of you, like a part of me is like, I would slap you. Silly. I would just like, pa. like, what'd you say? And I love how Pepper all of a sudden, like, I love that Pepper was able to go in his suit. I love that Pepper showed her badass ways. Like, who would have thought? The sweetest, kindest pots. That was like a whole nother level. I think like through this journey, all I do is see Mrs. Pep, like I see Pepper as, okay, she's so kind. She's so sweet. Wouldn't hurt a fly. And now I'm like, whoa, girls got moves and her anger just came out and you know it's always the it's always the, the sweet ones always the sweet ones that will like surprise us right <laughs> they're the ones we should be <laughs> terrified of <laughs> it's so interesting because when we first started watching the film there's that chunk where we started going into you know all the things they're showing on the media and everything that Killian concocted with our actor <laughs> with our pretend villain honestly I forgot what I was watching and that kind of like tripped me out because I've never really had a film I was watching before make me forget what I was actually watching and it kind of lost me for a second because I was like huh and then I remember I, I was sitting there going what am I watching now? Okay, I'm not comprehending. Why am I not understanding this? And then all of a sudden it came back. I go, oh, that's right. This is part of the Iron Man 3 storyline. Like that just took me into a whole new category, a whole new world, like a whole new zone in the film. And it just threw me off. And I thought that was kind of funny for a second. I was like, wow, this reaction is going to be rough because I don't remember what I'm watching. <laughs> and I don't have somebody else that I can ask for. You know, normally I have... We, I got my back up and I'm like, hey, da -da -da, you can run things off of each other. But everybody has seen these except for me. And that's why, you know, this has become a regular little like, what's up? Date night, sleepover, whatever you want to call this, one on one. Let's go. I'm loving this. I'm loving every single thing about the Marvel like series that I've seen so far. And I'm obsessed 
with Mr. Colin, Colin James, Tony's best friend, pretty much. That's what I'm gonna say. I'm gonna say they're best friends. He's the only human like interaction he has other than Pepper and all his little like hoochie mamas on the side. But you know, cause normally you, you see him, he's talking with his robots and that hurt my feelings too when they, when they got destroyed because he does have that connection with them and that's like the interaction he gets is through his all the robots, which is interesting, you know, cause it goes back to, okay, he doesn't have have really loved ones and this and that and now as we go and as he's changing as a man and you know forming into who Iron Man is I think it's really cool that we're starting to get those like stronger bonds what I love is the fact that he went through this entire film pretty much as him and not as reliant on the suit as we've seen in all the other in all the other films. And I thought that was really cool because it just goes to show he is Iron Man. He doesn't need a suit. He's a badass. Like he I feel like his confidence level like kind of dropped, you know, because he's like thinking, oh my gosh, I don't have anything. But in reality, he is it. He's the brain. He can cook all he can see he's a builder. You know, I everything about this, I just I adored it. I think this is one of my favorites uh, out of all the Iron Mans, honestly, because I th like they're all great. I'm lo I love them, but I I really really like this one. And I think it's because Tony, as a human, is doing this. You know what I mean? He doesn't have superpowers. He has his inventions. He has what he builds. And I think the little boy who came into play, like he was such a cute, like great addition to this film. Like he was just a adorable and I love how he's like I love how he's you know he's a kid we ask they ask questions like crazy and they're like oh what about this what about this what about this? And, and he even could see Tony struggling and I loved how he was like just breathe just breathe you're a builder so build something you know it's like that innocence that's just like yeah well this is what it is point blank like there's no other nonsense it's just a straight shooter and I love their their <laughs> The scene where he's like, you're gonna leave me like my dad? And he's like, eh, you're guilt tripping me, huh? Yup. I'm like, oi, this guy, he's got no chill. But the kid took the shots really well. Like he was he was a good trooper. I'm obsessed with the storyline. I'm, I'm obsessed with the lines that the characters have. I'm obsessed with the interaction. I'm obsessed with the action. Even though like sometimes it gives me anxiety in the sense of like, it, it's, you, you, I can't breathe. Because I'm like, oh my God, ah! and I'm like, what is this? What is wrong with me? I'm turning into the, I'm turning into my sister. <laughs> I get it. I get it now, Kelly. I get it. I get what you're talking about. Um, you guys let me know your thoughts in the comment zone. And please, please do not uh, throw any spoilers because like I said, I haven't seen any of these and I'm learning and going on this first time, <laughs> this first time journey. And uh, yeah. Don't do any spoilers, but if there's things you think I should know without spoiling anything or things that you want to bring to my attention, leave that in the comment zone. Pretty, pretty, pretty please. And let me know your thoughts on this film. If you haven't done so already, please hit that subscribe button, bell icons, all notifications, and upvote this video so you can let us all know that you're enjoying what you're watching. And if you already dumped, if you've already done that, thank you so much for all your love and support. I'll see you next time. Chris and Subspino. See ya.